What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Coach Plays. So, guys, do you ever want to have multiple people in your stream, or do you ever want to have a webcam of your buddy while you're playing that favorite game together? Well, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you that it's actually not that hard. So, let's go. Alright guys, so before we get started in this video, just do me a couple things. Smash that thumbs up, especially if this video helps you out because that helps the video out and it ends up getting out to a lot more people and helping them out. And as always guys, see this right here? A lot of you who watch the videos, you're not subscribed to the Coach Plays. So do me a solid favor, hit that red button, join the team, and join the family of the Coach Plays. Alright, so... So for the longest time, I've always wanted to have multiple people in my stream, but it, that's never been that easy. And you could use services like StreamYard out there, but the, the issue with StreamYard is it can be very bland. You don't have all the bells and whistles, to, so to speak, as far as what you can do with your stream via OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Or, or then if you want to upgrade in the StreamYard, you got to pay $25.99 a package, and, and then it's still not a free roam options as far as what you got on OBS. Well guys, I can finally show you how to add uh, another person's webcam into your stream via OBS and via Discord. So we're gonna get into this right now. All right guys, so right now I am capturing my display. So it, it's looking real buggy right now. I mean, it, you know, you get this endless window. So, but I gotta be able to show you exactly what to do. So. So what you have to do first is you have to get your Discord up. Most of you know what to, how to do this. If not, you might want to look at some more tutorial videos on Discord. But you go into your Discord, you get into one of your uh, your voice connected chats. Right here, I'm in a voice connected chat with my buddy Chase T66. Appreciate you for helping us out in this video. So right here, this would be where his video would be. Of course, this would be where mine is if we were both sharing our video screens. All right, so now we're back into OBS. What you are going to do to add the video of your buddy, you're gonna go down here to this plus in sources. You're gonna hit window capture. I've already got it existing right here, but we're gonna create a new one. You can name it whatever you want, hit okay. You're gonna go down here. You're gonna go to the, the window and you will get to where you see Discord. Once you click Discord, here you are here. But now, of course, this got the whole screen of your Discord uh, voice connected chat. You are going to press Alt on your keyboard and then drag this all the way over. Alt keyboard, drag it over. Alt keyboard, drag it over. And you are going to crop his video all the way down. And then there we go. We've got Chase T66 video up. And all right, that guys, so there would be the video of my buddy right there. So all you have to do is get to your window capture, go to your Discord, click that, and then you have to crop it to the size of the video. Now, if you're in a video chat, with eight of your buddies, you can do this as many times. You just gotta do it eight times as many as many people as you got in that chat. All right, and so then you would create your background and here you go. So if you just wanna have a little podcast with your friend, you know, you got it right there. Then of course you can make yourself bigger, you can make him bigger, anything. And then you gotta use your desktop audio to get his voice, but that stuff comes in really clean without hardly any lag. Now, with that being said, I think one of the biggest things you have to have is you have to have a really good PC to do this because when you start when you start talking about window capturing and things like that and trying to bring in another webcam into OBS, it is going to have a lot of pull. I mean, you are really asking your PC, your computer to do a lot of things. I've tried to do this in years past with just a, a regular old MacBook Pro and it just did not get the job done. It will start to lag and things like that. I'm not saying don't try it. Go get out there, try it, see if these methods work for your PC. But of course, if you've got a really good, strong PC, you're not gonna have any issues. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any issues, any questions, any comments, put them in the comment section below. I will answer you. Maybe we've got a lot of other people in the comment section that can answer as well. Remember, smash that thumbs up if you do. That only, it, it warms my heart 
you know, it warms my heart and it gets the video out there to everybody else. And as always, guys, I would love for you to be a part of the team. Subscribe to the Coach Plays. Hit that bell. That way you don't miss great content like this. We do sports and gaming as well, guys. Until next time, peace. Ever fake, I keep it real.